Well, we turn our attention now to parliamentary news after House members met briefly this morning following last week's abrupt adjournment. Our foreign carry tells us in, fills us in rather, on what today's agenda accomplished. Members of the chamber met briefly again on Monday morning after the proceedings ended abruptly last week with the House Speaker blasting members for breaching their own COVID-19 health and safety protocols. During that time, he also highlighted a number of other work-related concerns after a staff member tested positive for COVID-19. Honorable members, I'm pleased to report that uh, in a discussion with the Honorable Member for Kalani, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, along with the Honorable Member for Southern Shores, the leader of government business in the House, acting, and the Speaker this morning, all issues relating to any disagreements have been resolved. That aside, the Prime Minister tabled a number of documents and bills which were read for the first time. I beg leave lay on the table to the copy of the following. Value added tax, charitable and non-profit rules, 2021. See, I beg leave introduced and I read for the first time a copy of the following. A bill for an act to amend the Insurance Act. A bill for an act to amend the Securities Industry Act. Agnes and Member of Parliament, Glennis Hannah Martin, then gave notice of a number of questions the opposition is seeking answers to. Will the Honourable Prime Minister advise whether license or permission has been given to any person or entity for the exploration of sunken treasure within the territorial waters of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas? The business of the House of Assembly has been adjourned to Wednesday, May 5th at 10 a.m. For Inquiry, ZNS Network News.